Okay, traditional and modern. Um, let's check and see uh, what some of the answers were for chapter two. Okay, so if we just go down past the reading there. Let's have a look at these questions. What trends have changed in the looks of young Japanese people? First of all, it's dyed hair. It's the big one. Uh, body piercings, high heels, platform shoes. What's the difference between high heels and platforms? Platforms are just bigger heels, wider, longer, chunkier heels. Question two. What dangerous fashions have been trendy among young women? And that will be high soled or platform boots on high heels. Some injuries from this, especially with Japanese style body, very thin, so could easily fall over. Uh, what worries the older generation? What worries do the older generation have about modern fashions and tastes? Well, they say that uh, older generations are worried about the rapid change or increase. Uh, in strange tastes and that uh, it's replacing traditional culture undermining social stability that's some of the reasons for uh, those questions I'm not going to show the actual um, answers in a PDF because you could just look at that rather than listen to the video so I think I'm going to keep all the answers on the video all right this gets a bit harder when you talk about the um, pros and cons you have to read the question read the question correctly okay so the main thing is are you for or against a trendy lifestyle not traditional it's trendy okay so number one thick soled shoes and high heeled shoes are simply too dangerous they're too dangerous that's going to be a c okay so it's against trendy lifestyle number two fast food fast foods are not unhealthy as long as you eat a balanced diet not unhealthy is what we call double negative minus minus equals plus okay so that one is going to be a p so don't forget that's a little trick there minus minus equals plus not unhealthy is actually it's fine so p for number two number three young people rebel against older generations and dying uh, hair dying is a natural form of rebellion so natural normally means something that's good um, so it's another P next one piercing is dangerous and should be discouraged particularly among young people so this time piercing is dangerous and it's f piercing is for the modern lifestyle so it's gonna be a C on number four Number five, boys with brown hair and pierced ears and girls with tattoos are harmless. Harmless. Okay, so that's okay. Harmless. So number five is going to be a P. Young people who continually change their hair color may become less co content with their looks uh, and begin to suffer. So we've got less content and suffer. Those are negative words. So number six is a C. Number seven, piercing is as old as human civilization. It goes back a long way. Okay, so that means that it's natural. See the word natural and creative. So that's also going to be a P. Number eight, traditional Japanese foods are recognized worldwide as being excellent for health. So excellent for health, old Japanese traditional food must be a C. Number nine. High shoes give women power because it makes them uh, uh, makes them taller. A taller woman is far less likely to be harassed or assaulted. So that's going to be a P. And finally, older people, such as hospital patients, are disturbed when young people, especially doctors, have died here. So that's a C on that one. It's a C. All right, let's have a look at the the graphs here. What do we think? for the graphs um, graph number four is the first one graph number four okay so let's have a look many young people are not in favor of dyeing their hair not in favor so number four uh, what about B most the uh, most of the things young people enjoy including singing and reading comics are harmless Yep, 
so it's going to be uh, number five. Young people m may sport particular fashions. What does that mean, sport? Are we talking about sport? No. Uh, sport is an, can be a word for wearing. So young people may wear uh, peculiar fashions. So sport actually means wear in this sentence. All right, that's number two. Okay, number two. Drivers wear thick-soled shoes are more likely to cause accidents. And that's the data on braking tests with different footwear. So that's number one. And those who have actually dyed their hair are in a minority. That's going to be number three. Okay, moving on. Which word goes in there? We'll just read them out. Uh, eight words. First word there is lifestyle. Lifestyle. Second word there is dying, but it's D Y E I N G, D Y E I N G for dying hair. Okay. Number three is disappointed. Number four is unique. Number five is driving. Number six is meals. Number seven is overweight. And number eight is trends with an S. Trends with an S. A quick true or false. Leo has come to Japan because he likes Japanese food. That's false. Driving a car with thick soled shoes is not necessarily dangerous. Also false. All Japanese young people are following Western trends. Again, false. Three false. And finally, matching these words, we've got modern conveniences, fast pace of life, the basic unit of society, permanent scarring, and a creative form of expression. So which one goes in there? Let's have a check. So number one is going to be E, a creative form of expression. Number two is D, permanently scarring. Number three is going to be A, modern conveniences. And the last one we've got is a creative form of, uh, no, um, basic unit of society is number four, basic unit of society. Okay, so uh, B is not there, B is absent. And that's the the checking. Just have a look at this, this is just for arguing, if you have a back and forth argument. If we have a, a debate, there's some phrases here. So just read that, just make sure you, you've read that. And it could be useful, it could be useful in a, in a challenge conversation. Anyway, those are the answers for Unit 2, Trendy Modern Lifestyles.